what is happening in Congo, in South Sudan, in North Sudan, in Ethiopia, in Central Africa, and in many African countries that have a lot of minerals. What is happening? Uh, well, we talk about independence. No, you know, African countries. Some they got independence. They are sixty years of independence. Uh, some fifty. Some. Uh, 40 years but until now we still have problem in our countries and all these problems we attribute them to you know to foreign influence mostly the colonial you know states that still have a lot of influence in our countries well as Africans what are we thinking about what are the solutions to the problems that are going on in these countries. Uh, we have a lot of minerals. Yes, we have a lot of minerals, and these minerals that we have, we are not able to manage them. We are able to manage them, but it's almost 60, 50 years. We still have conflicts, lives um, perishing, properties are... Uh, getting destroyed because of these minerals. And until now, we don't have the solution. Are African leaders not able to sit down, talk among themselves, and solve the problems of our states? Well, the colonial powers gave us independence, and they used our own brothers and sisters in power to milk our resources. Many young Africans, philosophers, Pan-Africans have stood up, they have risen, they have talked, there are a lot of things online. Our politicians, they heard about this, but they are not able to act upon it. And the many young brothers and sisters, Africans, who have these ideas how to revolutionize Africa most of them are not given space in politics. Most of them are sent to exile. Most of them are killed. Most of them are in prison. What do Africa need at this moment? Well, we cannot talk about uh, European democracy being imported or taken to Africa to solve our problems. African problems need to be solved by us Africans. But are we able to to sit down and settle our issues? Congo is one of the African countries that is considered by the world as the greatest country that produces coltan, uranium, cobalt, but until now, their situation remains the same. There's a high rate of poverty. There are no good roads that connect the whole country. The health system, the education system. Where are these problems coming from? Are we not able to sit down and discuss about this? A lot of our politicians, they take their children to study outside. Their families are outside. Their bank accounts are outside. Everything is controlled by the Western world. When they are sick, they are taken to the Western world for treatment, meaning they don't trust their healthy systems, their education systems. And do you think politicians like this are able to treat the problems, the crisis of their country well for the goodness of the people. I think it is the right time for us, the Africans, to think and to develop the sense of common good. This common good that helps every citizen in the country. If our dream is not to help everyone or to develop our country, then we are going nowhere. 
And the superpowers, of course, they use our brothers and sisters who are in power. They put them in their hands. They give them money. They promise them good houses, health, education for their families in Europe, in Asia, and in America. And I think this is the right time that we think, especially when it comes to elections, we talk about democratic elections. Africa has its own concept of democracy and Europe should not force us to their democratic mentality. Our democracy is different. But what is very important is when it comes to elections, do we go to vote based on our tribal line or do we go to vote based on a party or we go to vote for someone who is capable and is able to you know build the country to be united and to put structures in order so this is one of the challenges that many African countries are facing especially when it comes to elections people vote based on emotions people vote based on tribes people vote based on you know, personal interest, instead of having a common good to tackle some of our problems. And I think this is the right time that young people in Africa sit down, discuss about this, and they spread the message in order, you know, to tackle our problems in Africa. Of course, people like Pierre Lumumba and many other and Africans, they have spoken, they have clearly explained the problems of Africa, but we are not. How many people are dying in Congo? Children working in the mining sectors, exploited, dying every day. All these electronics that we are seeing in the aeroplanes, computers, telephones, the batteries, most of them are used because of the products gotten from Congo. And how many people are dying in Congo in these days? In Sudan, the petrol, the oil, the you know the gold, and all this we still see people suffering and dying. Seven million refugees from Sudan. South Sudan like three to four million refugees who are helpless, dying in the refugee camps. What is the solution to this? The solution to these problems in Africa is you and me. To change the way of thinking, Africans should rethink on the problems of Africa and come out with the good solutions. The solutions of Africa are us. No one from Europe, from Asia, and from America will give you money, will give you funding without expecting a gain. And this is what uh, we have to put in mind as young African philosophers, to think critically and evaluate our problems. Um, African philosophy as I said last time, is that philosophy that helps us to rethink on our problems and it is to generate solutions to our problems. Otherwise, if it does not create solutions to solve our daily problems, then we are not doing philosophy. Of course, this African philosophy of first order that talks about you know a common things, you know, reasoning as a community. But second philosophy, that which gives us the capacity, you know, the, the, the possibility or the capacity to reason as individuals in order to generate knowledge and solve our problems. So I would wish all my brothers and sisters who are working for justice, peace, unity and development of Africa to rethink in this way in order to generate good ideas and put Africa in order. And I hope Africa will be great.